Hey everyone. It's Tyler here, and I'm with Liam today. We both work pretty hard during the day, so we thought we'd talk about something everyone can relate to how we unwind after work. Whether it's watching TV, taking a walk, or just chilling out, we all need those little things to help us relax. So, if you're looking for some new ways to recharge after a long day, stick around. And hey, feel free to share your favorite ways to unwind in the comments below. We'd love to hear what works for you. Hey Liam. How's it going? I know work's been pretty busy lately. How do you usually unwind after a long day? Oh man, after a long day, I try to keep it simple. My go-to is grabbing a cup of tea and putting on some music. It's a nice way to ease into the evening. I've also been getting into reading more lately. There's something about a good book that helps me disconnect from everything for a bit. How about you? What's your after-work ritual like? I'm all about kicking back with a good TV show. Nothing too heavy, usually something like a comedy or a light drama just to chill out. What kind of shows do you watch when you're trying to relax? I'm the same way. After work, I love putting on something light, like a sitcom or even a cooking show. Those are perfect for unwinding without feeling too mentally drained. But I've realized I need to be careful with binge watching, it's so easy to get sucked in. Recently, I've been trying to cut back on screen time after work. It's a bit of an adjustment, but unplugging from technology every once in a while really helps me relax more deeply. I'll put my phone away, and it's amazing how much more refreshed I feel the next day. Yeah, that makes sense. It's tough to fully relax when you're always checking notifications. Do you ever go for a walk to clear your head after a long day? Definitely. Walking has been a lifesaver for me. After staring at a screen all day, there's something refreshing about getting outside, stretching my legs, and just breathing in some fresh air. It gives me time to reflect or just let my mind wander a bit. I usually take a short walk in the neighborhood, but on weekends, I like to hit a park or a trail to really get away from everything. Have you tried any outdoor activities yourself? I'm more of a patio guy, honestly. Sometimes after work, I'll just sit outside for a bit, maybe with a drink or just enjoying the quiet. I feel like it's a great way to decompress. Do you ever just hang out with your pets after work? I know, you've got a dog, right? Oh yeah, spending time with my dog is one of my favorite ways to unwind. We'll go for a walk, or I'll just play fetch with him in the backyard. It's amazing how calming it can be. Plus, it's a good excuse to get some fresh air and move around after sitting at a desk all day. There's something so simple and comforting about pets, they just help melt the stress away. Do you have any pets that help you relax? No pets here, but I've got hobbies. I've been trying to pick up the guitar again after work. It's a nice way to focus on something creative for a bit. Do you have any hobbies that help you switch off after a long day? For sure. I've actually gotten back into painting recently. I'm no Picasso, but it's a great way to express myself and take my mind off work. Sometimes, I'll just zone out and lose track of time while I paint. It's like a mini escape. And speaking of unwinding, Catching up with friends is another great way to relax. There's nothing better than having a laid-back conversation with a friend over a cup of coffee or a drink. How often do you catch up with friends after work? 
Not as often as I'd like, but I do enjoy grabbing drinks with a friend or two when I can. It's a nice change of pace from the usual routine. Ever play board games or puzzles when you hang out with friends? Oh, absolutely. My friends and I are really into board games. We'll sometimes have game nights, and it's such a fun, low pressure way to unwind. It's not just about the game itself, but the social part you know. It's nice to have something light hearted to focus on that isn't work related. And when it's just me, I like doing puzzles, it's surprisingly relaxing. But if I'm really looking to unwind, I've got to mention my evening routine. After a long day, a warm bath or a shower is like hitting the reset button. It's the perfect way to wash away all the stress. Oh, I hear you. There's something about a hot shower that just makes everything better. Do you ever journal or do any kind of reflecting at the end of the day? Yeah, I've started keeping a gratitude journal. Nothing too fancy, just jotting down a few things I'm grateful for before bed. It's such a simple habit, but it really helps shift my mindset and end the day on a positive note. I also use it as a time to reflect on the day, what went well, what I could do better tomorrow. Speaking of which, I found that planning a few small things for the next day really helps me feel more relaxed going to bed. It's like I'm setting myself up for a smoother start the next morning. Do you ever plan ahead for the next day? Yeah, I try to. I'll usually make a to do list or mentally go over what's on my plate. It definitely helps to know what I'm walking into the next day. It takes away some of that looming stress. Exactly. It's all about ending the day with a clear mind so you can really relax. So, what do you think? Are you ready to try any new unwinding techniques after today's chat? I think I might. Some of your ideas sound pretty tempting, especially the journaling and the walks. I'll give it a shot. Awesome. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Unwinding really is a personal thing, but once you find what works for you, it makes a world of difference. Absolutely. Thanks for the great chat, Liam. I'm definitely taking some of these ideas with me. Anytime, man. And to everyone watching, we'd love to hear how you unwind after a long day of work. Drop your go to methods in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more discussions like this.